Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are all doing well. Today I am going to show you uh, a way how we can set up a PHP My Admin in your recent instance. So let's get started. First I go to the launch instance. Then I create a new instance here. I keep everything as default. Choose an IAM role and storage and tags. I choose the existing security group. Okay, that's it. I have uh, instantiated a new instance. I've launched a new instance. I go to Systems Manager. Using Systems Manager, I will connect to the instance. So uh, let's insert the yum. Okay, my yum update has been completed. Let me clear this screen. So we have installed httpd minus y. This will install Apache 2.4. That's done. Then I'm going to install PHP. So, okay. So I'm. I need to enable. Um, PHP 7.4. That is my default PHP now. Let me install PHP. So we can install PHP. CLI. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Then I'm going to install. SQL and MariaDB server. MariaDB is compatible for MySQL. Okay, that's it. Let me clear my screen and then uh, let's start the Apple server. Start MariaDB. System CTF enable HTTPD enable MariaDB. Current in the current password none. Yes. I give a password here. Yes. 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 Let's go to her WW victory. Then I'm going to download PHP my admin. So PHP my admin.net slash downloads. Okay, look at this. Okay. 
download it let me unzip it okay so now i'm going to create a virtual host so i have already written down the text for the virtual host in this notepad so i pointed the document root to word www php my main all languages when i have downloaded the and extracted the php my main let's copy this and here i go to sudo li cpd convert let me check recheck it again document root is fine server name i'm going to give pma2026 in shops.com okay so uh, let me copy the ip address set up my subdomain Pause this video for a minute while this is updated. Okay, my DNS setup has been completed, so I can now browse the site using pma 2020 and, and if I refresh this, I get the uh, PHP my admin login page. So, this is all fine, just one thing it's not secure, so let me just do make it secure. For security, I go to the search code. So, search. Then I go to uh, instructions. Software is Apache, and the system is CentOS 7, that is Amazon Linux 2. Thing, I just need to enable e e e e e L. Enable e e e L for Amazon Linux. This uh, is pretty straightforward. You just need to just run this. Now I try to run this command to install the start port. I will give all those comments in the description so that you can check it out later on uh, from the description and just copy and paste and run it. Okay. Now uh, let's so we start with the So 
my server setup is done which will issue a certificate for me okay let me put my email certificate setup has been completed so let me now if I refresh this I should be redirected to a secure page the connection is secure that's fine and then if I log in here one two three four that's fine now my password okay here is all my uh, Databases at this moment there is no database. Let me create one summer. Okay, I can even do some good users as well. User accounts and then user account here. Test. as well okay so basically that's it guys <coughs> we have set up uh, PHP we have set up Apache we have set up uh, MySQL using MariaDB then we have uh, pointed uh, our, we have downloaded the PHP MyAdmin script. We have extracted that and put that into the folder and then created a virtual host pointing to my subdomain. And then we have installed a certificate using Let's Encrypt. And then I can now browse the PHP MyAdmin using a secure subdomain. So uh, I think uh, that's it for today. I hope this helps you to get started with your projects and if there is any questions you can always uh, put a description thank you for watching my video and have a nice day